They weren't getting the beans and the baby formula that was being sent there. So I said, we have to go there and, and see for ourselves. Because the, the media was saying one thing, and the people, thanks to the advance of the technology, was telling us something else. My friends, I was shocked. I was flabbergasted. I was angry when I got to the airport of Port-au-Prince. Stack and stacks and stacks of food sitting right there at the airport. That was the first visual that I saw when I got there. The second visual when we walked down the plane was a sea of soldiers heavily armed yes and then for for a minute I, I i was wondering maybe i'm on the wrong place because you know we're supposed to be landing in a place that where there is a crisis and then i felt that i was in a war zone yes because there were so many heavy tanks and, and soldiers the next day i uh, we woke up early the team woke up early we we visited the tents and then we started talking to people. We didn't go with our arms, we went with a, a reporter, with a camera, because we wanted to show people that what we were hearing was true. And guess what? Most of the people, most of the camps we visited, and most of the people we interviewed told us that they have not received any assistance, any help, and then our team was the first ever, you know, that approached them and asked them how they were doing and if they had anything to eat. Something is wrong. Yes. What is going on? So you have a country that is quasi-destroyed and you have two million people living under makeshift tents. And then when we talk about tents, you need to know what they are and then you've seen them on TV. These are not really tents. These are people you know who use their their smartness and then their great imagination to piece you know pieces of of, of, of blankets together barely had you know uh, held together with pins and then now there is a big fear that rain will start and the government which has been held powerless and then who in the midst of all this, the control of the airport. Where have you, where have you seen this? I, I, I try to comprehend what happened. You have a nation in mourning, and you have a government signing control of its airport to, 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 to another government. And then what has been done is that most of the countries that want the help that could have really assist the people were refused lending, were denied lending into Haiti. So there are several things that we have to be very watchful of. First of all, right now, Haiti is, 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 is under occupation. Yes, yes. We have three great powers fighting to regain control or to yes. get control of the nation. You have our own country, where we are now, you have friends which contributed to creating the conditions in which our people are living now that is trying to regain control of the nation. And then we have Canada now claiming its piece of the land and wanting control of Jacques Mayer. So you have a people who are dying yes. of hunger, yes. who, 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 who are crying for help, yes. do not have access to portable water. Yes. You have babies so weak, they can't even suck their mother's breast. And you have the three big powers fighting for it. In the meantime, every day you're reading in the newspaper, Haiti, the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. But if it is so poor, Yes. Why are so yes, many yes. powerful nations yes. 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 fighting, fighting together? Yes. My yes. friends, we have to remain vigilant. 
we have to remain vigilant because something very weird, very strange is happening there in our nation. And I'm glad that we have brothers and sisters, you know, gathering, uh, coming together to raise awareness, raise consciousness, and then tell the world that, you know, what's going on in Haiti is wrong. It is wrong. We need to let the Haitian people regain control and then be, 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 be owners of their own destiny. That's one. Because these nations that are now fighting to regain control, they've been in Haiti for almost 200 years. What have they done? What have they done? Agriculture is the main source of revenue for Haiti. And yet we have, we've had our own country there and get there. Why haven't they invested in agriculture? When China, for the first time, on the Preval, the first Preval government, sent scientists there to show the Altimonid Valley how to grow rice, what happened? Mysteriously, we had planes flying over the Altimonid Valley spraying the rice, the, the burgeoning rice, and now Haiti, which used to be the main exporter of rice, Haiti has to buy rice, maybe here. We are Haiti number one market. Did you know that? Were we aware of that? And then we are Santo Domingo. All right, so what we're asking, we're asking Haitians to be in control of the rebuilding process because these people, they've been here before they were there, before, if they didn't do anything, they're not gonna do a darn thing now. Second, second, we need to keep the prevail government